Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here. Welcome to episode 55 of Let's Play The Wind Waker, and we're going to warp to this island right here that we have unmarked on our map. I could say just sail directly there because I'm at Ice Ring Isle, which is one square east of it, and the wind is conveniently going west, so it wouldn't actually be that hard. It might even be a little faster if I just sailed there and started talking like halfway there. But now I'm already doing this warp, and it's a really cool animation, so I really like it, and I think I'm just going to be here. We're going to do the Fairy Islands this episode. I really like the Fairy Island because they upgrade your shit. They upgrade your shit into very mass quantities that you really don't need and they also upgrade your magic bar to find the right one but that right one is really hard to find actually because you have to beat a big octo or a big ice ring isle not ice ring isle it's actually a reef it's not cyclops reef but i think it's two eye reef or something and we have to go there and I, th I might do the reefs now i tried to do them earlier in the game but i couldn't because it was just too too hard it actually wasn't too hard it was just that the cans hadn't appeared there yet and you need the cans to be there in order if you, to get everything that you can get at the reef watch it go boom and the cans won't appear there until you've beaten the mighty Helmarok King, and uh, that all, it's also worthwhile to mention that you should do, do that Forsaken Fortress place where you beat the Helmarok King first before you do these fairy islands, because you, you'll need the skull hammer to access some of these fairy islands, but specifically the ones where you have to upgrade your quiver. And it's going to be really convenient for you to have that right, that, right then, because... I couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't do it, man. Oh, I tried. I tried. I did. I wanted to do one of those videos where you just don't stop talking, but I was stuttering way too much already. I think I got my point across, though. That's probably the quickest I've ever described what I'm going to do in a single video. But here's our bomb bag. We can now carry 99. That I told you it was excessive, didn't I? In that massive mumbo-jumbo of influx information. Good lord. That is harder than you think it is to do that. Like, for those who, people who have done it, and I've only really seen one person who's ever done it successfully, I applaud you for being able to speak that fast and that clearly for such an extended period of time. Of time. <clears throat> Anyways, now that I'm out of that, uh, I don't know, it's really weird to me that you can warp to this island, this random southern fairy island. I think they did that just because there was really no other, like, plotline heavy island in this vicinity. And they just want to make it so that you can basically get to anywhere, like where you, how, am I, how do I describe that? It's basically like from wherever you warp to, you're basically within one square of any island in the game, which is technically not true because there's a few squares like up in the northwest portion of the map, I think, or that where you can't sail to if you warp directly to somewhere. It would be true probably if you could warp to, uh, to Mother and Child Isles and not be stuck inside it, but... There you go. Alright, rock on. There's also, as you might have seen, some platforms here that I think are some of the most important platforms in the game, because you get a treasure chart for them, which you don't normally get. Uh, oh yeah, I'm going to have to do that too, that heart piece. Alright, sweet. That's always one of the ones, like the last ones that I have in my mind, that heart piece that you just mentioned there, under the black soil. Uh, oops. Oops. It's been a while since I played this game. I'm starting to forget songs, man. I shouldn't forget songs. They've been embedded in my brain over the years I've played this game. No reason to forget them now. Ugh. And sorry if I am see seem kind of spoilerific here. Uh, like, I just mentioned that heart piece under the black soil, even though he never explicitly mentioned it was a heart piece himself, that merman. And not before I also mentioned about the fairy who gives you the magic eater and how to find her and everything. I just figured that like enough people have played this game and enough people who are watching this are probably just watching it for my commentary since it's been done to death as a let's play that there's really no point in me not spoiling anything. Of course I'm not going to spoil anything like super plot heavy or anything just on the off chance that someone who's never seen the game before is watching this which I don't doubt. I mean the internet is a vast vast place so you never know what you're going to come across in terms of an audience. Uh, oh, is that guy going to get up right off the edge? It's going to be so funny. I have to wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oops. <laughs> oh my god, it's the funniest thing. That's even like better than just hitting him off an edge like that. See, that's not very funny because like, you, you force that. But when he just gets up off the edge of his own free will, it's just like... Like, yeah, it's sad because like... <laughs> I guess you just didn't know. God. That's frightening, man. I'm going to take the cheap way out in killing these cannons. Sometimes I like to just shoot them down from the boat like it was meant to be. But oh my god, wow. Cannon flew right up to my face. And there you go. 
I think the way this this pl these platforms actually work much more methodically than most other platforms. Oh, what? <laughs> wouldn't that have been cool if that just hit me midair as I was falling? Like, yeah, it would have sucked because I got a, I would have gotten blown up, but it still would have been kind of cool to see. Just like them have that accuracy or that amount of luck, anyways, in taking me out. Yeah, I think the way this works is that you like go to each of these two side platforms, and then uh, you like clear them out. And then once that's done, chests will appear in the middle platform, and you go out there. And I think you might actually get a chest for clearing out of that area too. Uh, the middle platform. That's what I mean. Hey, you get out of here, man. This guy behind me is just not doing anything. Not until I targeted him. There you go. Ooh, arrows. <laughs> I don't know why, but those arrows looked ex ex especially juicy. Does anyone actually say that anymore? Especially? I haven't heard that word used in so long. I used to hear it, like, all the time. <laughs> I think that cannon just blew up that other cannon without even my needing to. It's kind of funny. Be the bait that destroys the cannon. Ooh. There we go, that works. Like I said, I'm pretty sure there is either a heart piece or a treasure chart in one of those chests. So I'm kind of keen to find out about that. I'm pretty sure it's just a treasure chart because I couldn't really see them putting something as insanely valuable as a heart piece on one of these random platforms that you might just oh so conveniently miss. But uh, I guess I guess when you're going for 100% completion, you might have to be expected to do that sort of thing. In fact, I there I there might actually be another platform that does have a heart piece on it. Pretty sure it's not this one though. Pretty sure being the case. You know, it's pretty scary. Mm, ooh. Get out of here, man. See ya. Uh, I'm gonna call this a uh, golden feather. Skull necklace? Are you kidding? <laughs> I don't see any moblins around here. Is it a random moblin just to come up here and put it for safekeeping? I guess no better place than where there's no other moblins to take it. But still, it's kind of weird. Dude, he is using that barrel so. I'm gonna have to flank him here. You dummy. Get out of here. There we go. <laughs> that was the stupidest thing, hiding under a barrel. You can't barrel... What that barrel even break on? The decaying corpse that I threw it against? I assume so. Jeez, I just noticed that I already have, like, both my bomb upgrades and neither of my arrow upgrades. How stupid is that? Probably should have evened it out a little bit more. I mean, I know which, which like, things... Which fairy islands house each upgrade, so... I could have theoretically done that better, but I digress. We'll get them all done anyways. There's your treasure chart. Hell yeah. When you open this chart in a magical place, and you'll go digging in the sea, but sometimes you'll find a pot. <laughs> Has that ever happened to anyone else? I've never seen that happen in like a Let's Play or anything, but I distinctly remember at least two times. A oh, pot for now, cool. Is there any other that I haven't opened yet? Yeah, look at that. Uh, what is that island? I'm not sure. Mm, oh, there's a reef. I think that might be Cyclops Reef. Man, there's plenty of these I haven't opened. I think that's Gale Island. There we go. Gale Island is actually one of the places that's marked on our map up there. Or that you just that I just skimmed over. Mm, what was I saying? Yeah, it's like I think sometimes, like near the end game when I'm like digging up treasures from the ocean deeps. There's some random times, it seems totally random when it happens, and it seems really rare, too. Uh, where am I gonna go? I'm gonna go one square south of here, actually, just because there's... I think that's the reef I want to head to, because, like I said in the very beginning, I do want to start doing those reefs, because you get some nifty rewards from them. Believe you me. I mean, it's, I guess it's not really nifty rewards from the reefs themselves, it's more secondary or tertiary rewards from them. But, uh, you'll see what I mean by that in due time. But like I've been trying to explain, uh, sometimes, like, when you try to dig up a treasure, you hit a certain spot, or, like, you're just barely off the mark or something. Something triggers it, I'm not sure what. But you'll pull up a treasure like normal, and, uh, or, you know, like, it'll activate the animation of, like, Link looking, hopefully, at the grappling hook coming out of the sea because he's latched onto something. But then when it comes up, it's like some, like, decrepit pottery or something covered in algae or seaweed or something. And he just, Link just, like, hangs his head in shame or looks frowny or something. I don't know, it's been a while since it happened. 
but I do distinctly remember it happening. Has that ever happened to anyone else playing this game, or am I just completely insane? I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, like, just, oops. Man, it took too, too long to formulate my thought there, or to formulate my sentence, and I just got shot out. But I'm not, like, I'm open to the idea that I am indeed insane, so don't put that past me. But I, I can, sw I swear that happened to me. It's been a few years since it happened, but still. It just seems like weird things happen to me when I'm playing this game. Like a certain glitch that I will go into in more detail when we get to that part of the game. Because it's pretty late in the game where that happens and I don't want to spoil anything for y'all.